Let's make budgeting even easier with scheduling transactions. I'm Hannah, let's learn. Whether you're someone who links their bank accounts to YNAB or prefers to leave them unlinked, scheduling transactions can be a handy way to bring some clarity to your budget and lighten your load. Scheduling transactions is a great move in a few different scenarios. Let's start with those recurring expenses that tend to be charged on the same day at the same amount, like a mortgage payment or in every other Friday paycheck. Starting on the web app, click into the account you want to schedule the transaction for. From here, click Add Transaction, filling out the correct payee, category, and the amount of the recurring inflow or outflow. If you like to add memos to your transactions, I sure do, make sure the memo will be universally applicable every single time it enters the budget. For instance, memoing the mortgage payment, monthly mortgage payment, and not February mortgage payment. Because whatever memo you enter now will be the same memo entered into the budget every time this transaction recurs. Now we want to select the date this transaction will first occur. That might be today, or it might be three weeks from now, depending on when you're doing this. Let's say this transaction is happening today. For recurring expenses, you can select what frequency you want this transaction to recur at. Weekly, monthly, twice a year. I'll select monthly. When I save this transaction, I can see not only did it enter my budget for today, but it also showed up in this scheduled transaction section for the exact exact same amount next month. Whenever that day rolls around, this transaction will move out of the scheduled transaction section and into the main part of my account register. And I didn't even do a thing. A second scenario in which scheduled transactions are helpful is when you want to keep an eye on a transaction that's happening way in the future. For instance, I just booked a hotel for a $500 stay for a trip happening three months from now, but the hotel won't actually charge me that $500 until I check out of the hotel three months from now. I definitely wanna remember that I have to pay someone $500 in three months. I can enter all this transaction info now, making sure to select my checkout date three months from now instead of the current date. In this scenario, I could use the memo line to track important information, like the actual trip dates, our confirmation number, or maybe even the hotel's phone number in case I need to cancel or change my reservation. Now that's strategy. A third scenario a lot of YNABbers with unlinked accounts enjoy is scheduling variable transactions for a $0 amount. For example, you know the electricity bill is always charged on the 10th, water bill on the 15th, and natural gas on the 20th. But you never know how much they're gonna cost. No worries, go ahead and enter all the transaction info minus the actual outflow amount. Set the transaction to repeat on a monthly basis and save. Now when the $0 electricity bill transaction pops into the budget on the 10th of the month, I can record the exact outflow number I was charged this month and save. And speaking of $0 transactions, you can actually use scheduled transactions in YNAB for more than just future charges. If you wanna schedule yourself a reminder to cancel a three month free trial three months from now, just leave the inflow and outflow blank. If you want a monthly reminder to give your dog their heartworm medication, schedule a $0 transaction on a recurring monthly basis. Whenever these reminder transactions pop into the budget, delete them once you've completed the task at hand. And if you're afraid of losing track of these reminder transactions, dedicate a flag color to reminders and to-dos so they stand out from the rest. Or just create a separate reminders and to-dos account in your budget that you scheduled these transactions to. And if you ever need to enter a scheduled transaction into your budget earlier than you thought, select it and hit enter now. This changes the transaction date to the current date, bringing it out of your scheduled transaction section and down into the main part of your account register. And all of these same steps can be done on the mobile app as well by changing the date to a future date or selecting a repeat frequency at the bottom of the transaction entering screen. Collapse and expand the scheduled transaction section when you do and don't need it and enter any transaction early by selecting it and tapping enter now. Lastly, when recurring scheduled transaction amounts change, like you get a raise at work and your paychecks are now $300 more per paycheck than they used to be, make sure to edit the scheduled transaction to reflect this change and not the most recently entered transaction. This makes sure all future scheduled transactions reflect this same change. Same goes for the memo. And that is all you need to know to start using scheduled transactions like a total pro. Thanks for watching.